Now, still with us uh, to discuss some of the day's leading stories is NHS GP and broadcaster Dr. Rene Hunderkamp. Uh, first up, I think, uh, Rene, we're going to talk about uh, this list of shame. Uh, mm, dead, this pedo- list. Te- dead billionaire paedophile Jeffrey Epstein's list of the VIPs. Apparently, there's a, nearly 180 uh, top-level VIP names uh, that he mm. provided hospitality to, some of whom, of course, got on to his notorious Lolita Express private jet and were flown down to that horrendous-looking yeah. Caribbean island of his in the Domin- D- Dominican Republic uh, to do God knows what. Uh, there'll be a lot of uh, red faces in high places. Now, it's uh, 20 to quarter to nine now in New York. Uh, we are expecting this list to be rela- released today and we are wondering whether it might be in about 15 minutes at the start of the working day. Hmm. Well, let's hope so. And I have been wanting this to be released for a long time because let's face it, we've got all of these high profile men who have been flown down to this island, some of them to have sex with women there as part of their relationship with Epstein, young women. And the only person in prison for this is a woman. Mm. Not a single man has been charged with anything. Yeah. And it's just about time that we corrected that. And these men should be brought to account. I don't care how senior they are or, you know, how much power they have in the world. It's over. Well, what's quite striking about this is these people have been named essentially as witnesses in the case against Epstein. Um, so it suggests that they saw things, that they knew things, that they could give evidence about things, which suggests, again, that they were more than complicit yeah. with his behaviour because not actually turning around and saying... That is wrong, you can't do mm-hmm. this, and I'm going to phone the cops myself. It's essentially condoning it. Absolutely, and some of these men have been on this Lolita Express multiple, multiple times. It's called Lolita. I mean, you know. Yeah, yeah but I think that was... Uh, the journalists came up with that one, to be fair. Uh, but, you know, we've, we've heard names like Bill Clinton, uh, Donald Trump... Uh, even Bill Gates. So we should stress that, you know, it's not necessarily illegal, you know, to go to dinner or to an island with uh, Jeffrey Epstein, but we know the accusations, the allegations flying around, and they're not pretty, are they? They're not pretty. And, you know, frankly, we've had this whole, you know, last decade or so of Me Too, where women have been able to and encouraged to come out and make accusations when they feel it, which has gone to the nth degree now. But these men are all sitting there because of their power, completely protected. Yeah. Yeah. 